have to learn is to keep ourselves collected, which means there is least amount of energy drained through various ways. When we are able to bring ourselves together, this itself is called as integration of personality. You can ask this psychologist sitting at the back that when a personality is split, fragmented, there will be enormous amount of conflict. Integration means where the parts are not conflicting with each other. For example, if you keep your phone on and if it keeps on giving you a signal all the time that somebody has sent you a message, good evening, it is, it is irrelevant. But now you want to listen and at the same time you also want to see who is it. And I'm sure none of you receive messages from your President Trump. So it is not that important that you've got to answer it immediately. And if it is from wife, you have all the more reason to keep it silent. <laughs> so now, when this is done, let us begin. Om. Om Yo Brahmanam Vidadhati Purvam Yo Vai Vedanshya Prahinoti Tasmai Tamha Deva Matma Buddhi Prakasham Mokshur Vai Sharanamaham Prakadye Shanti 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 Om Namo Brahma Dibhyo Brahma Vidya Sampradaya Kartrabhyo Vamshari Shibhyo Mahadhyo Namo Guru Bhya Sarvo Paplavarahitaha Prajyana Dhanah Pratyagartho Brahmaivahamasmi Brahmaivahamasmi Vedantartha Vipasakaya Gurave Shantaya Sanyasine Nana Vadina Kendra Sangha Pavaye Yogindra Vandhyaya Cha Mohadvanta Divakaraya Bhagavad Pada Vibhaan Vibhate Tasmai Bhashya Krite Namostu Satatam Purnaya Bodhatmane Vedas are called as Shastra. The word which is employed to mean Veda is Shastra. It has got two implications. One, Shamsanath Shastram, Shasanath Shastram. It means 
by imparting the knowledge because it imparts the knowledge it is called as shastra shamsana and also by giving you a discipline to follow it is called as shastram shamsana shastram and shasana shastram the discipline means do this do not do this do not cause any violence hari om yeah do not cause any violence do not hurt anyone no matter who that person is a person may have a different opinion than you may have he may have a different opinion about religion about spirituality about god is this a suggestion that i should not be talking no no no, no. okay because not everybody can talk together right if i am also going to speak and the mic wants to speak make noise both of us can't make noise together mahadev ha i can't get it further it's okay it's okay take it down then a person is entitled to have his opinions and at the same time you have to know one more thing that a person is entitled even to change his opinions and therefore do not conclude that somebody has an opinion means you have the right to host any kind of animosity towards him and therefore the shastra says ma himsya do not kill don't hurt it is cool this <coughs> set of do's and don'ts is called as shasanam at the same time the shastra wants to show you something and that is called as shasanam shamsanam shasana shastram shamsana shastram what is it that the ved the shastra wants to show you it wants to show you the highest reality that ultimate param satyam is what the shastra wants to show you and how will you become available to get this knowledge when you follow the discipline in life that discipline will make you qualified to receive the knowledge now you see and therefore the shastra vedas have got this twofold responsibility one to prepare the person to prepare the person and then when a person is prepared to show him that reality what that reality is we are simply going to use the word parmatma parmeshwara and therefore when we are going to say god or parmatma it does not mean a particular opinion if your god is sitting only in your opinion then that is not god because it is a limited thing that what is limited which can stay confined to your opinion cannot be called as god that what can stay confined to your thought to your opinion to your concept 
cannot be God because we are saying that what is God is anantam that what is infinite that what is limitless and if God could stay confined only to your thought to your opinions to your concepts then that cannot be God you have defeated the God by confining it into your own ideas and that is why we have the Christian God the Muslim God the Hindu God God is not given to be confined by any sects people geographies or cultures This is great guys. Technique to keep you all away. <laughs> yeah, because he knows that people come here after Friday and Saturday nights. <laughs> they are bound to fall to sleep when there is nice cool breeze around. Uh, good great boy. Thank you. Hey, you know, it's very encouraging. Otherwise, if the teacher sees people are sleeping, it's not a very good encouragement. Very So this is what the Shastra wants. That it prepares a person in his life, qualifies the person by giving him a discipline of living. And when the person is qualified now, he will be able to see that reality. What that reality is, now simply that reality is told to you, brought to you by the name Parmeshwar. Okay? At this moment, you will have to live with it because when you are qualified by undergoing a discipline through that system, you will emerge out to be old that what is true, that what is Satya. Satya cannot be disciplined by us when we are too opinionated, ruined by our own desires, vasanas, prejudices, biases, it cannot be had. But if I tell you that drop your prejudices and biases, that also cannot happen. And therefore, in order to, for this to happen, you will have to undergo go a process. That process is the discipline, which is called as dharma. And therefore, Veda by definition is dharma brahma pratipalakam Apaurusheyam Pramana Vakyam Veda. That what shows you what is dharma, the way of living a righteous life. Living a righteous life and that righteous living leads you to a maturity of understanding and only such maturity allows you now to see what is that Paramasa? Okay? We as of now are going to use the word Narayan for that Satyam. And the innate Shakti of this Narayana is Lakshmi. If we, I was to speak in the language that this Satyam is Shiva, I would use the word Parvati. I would use the word Uma to mean the innate Shakti of Lord. Swabhaviti, that which is natural. So now the story goes and we are now going to speak in the language of Puranas. The language of Puranas is very interesting language. Because the entire Puranic literature talks to you in terms of stories. 
it is not a philosophical discussion but it will be left for you to discover that philosophical truth through these stories it is left for you to derive it is left for you to pull out the philosophy to understand those truths the subtle truths which are indicated through the stories but these are stories and stories appeal to everyone whether it is an 80 year old man or an 8 year old child to everyone the story has an appeal but the same story will have a different significance at different stages of your life the story of ramayana is common and you have heard it all your life when you hear that sita was abducted by ravana and rama goes about in the forest 